Hey yo, this is Mr. Fix It here to inform you there's a heist being organized. This is your cue to participate or else.
We have traveled the stars. We have traveled through time. We came across one unmistakable truth. The future is wrestling. We have brought the best wrestlers from across time and space to compete for honor and glory. This is Stone's Galactic Wrestling Federation. What the universe is watching. Jeffy, get the hell out of here. Welcome to Paragons Wrestling. Today is Monday, November 18th, 2024. I'm your host, Stone. We have 10 matches. Uh, we're going to start off with a dark match. It's a look at reward match. And then we have some things happening. Some things. I got to yell because the crowd is crazy. Honk, honk, honk. All right, let me say some hellos. Uh, hello to me. Hi. Okay. Da, 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 da. Isaac, what's shaking, my friend? What up? Hi, hi. Um, um, imagine testing. Like, like I realize the person's not trying to grab it because when you like if it was live your muscles contract and you can't let go right so i so i get the thinking of back a hand i get it but that that that's from like a pole you're seeing oh my god like all it takes is one whoop and you're and you're done or severely hurt i i can't i can't even that's that's crazy to me. I have a healthy respect of power. I I mean I can light bulbs, blah blah blah, you know, that's fine. When I do when we were doing the house uh switches and changing them over to the smart switches, I did a couple. Sweating. Because I'm like, yeah, I turned everything off and then I used the thing to make sure there's no power still fear and it's a healthy fear man justin how are you because one little boop you mess it up you're done you're done so justin i hope you're having a good day uh heist results came in uh, i danced the night away with dance revolution awesome Justin went to the penalty box thanks to the goons well that's a tag team i haven't heard from of in a long time uh, and then Isaac got tangled in seven dog leashes. Uh, probably f they were running away from the guy trying to touch the back of the wire. Or trying to touch the wire with the back of his hand. The dumbass. It's gonna, it's gonna die. Like, that guy is gonna die. Or he, he will get hurt one day. Allie, no worries, no worries. You be lurky worky, Allie, for sure. Um, yeah, so the intros, uh, I have like a good seven or eight of them, I think. And, um, when we came back, I, I did our intro that we got going right now with Allie's and I didn't get around to doing the, the other ones, uh, because I got to create separate videos and move things around in the video thingy. And, um, uh, since we're so close to the end of the year, I figured I'd wait until 2025 when we do the new video. So the new Jeffy bumps 
uh and then i'll get everybody's videos back in ali your voice is dulcet tones missy okay the future is wrestling and we love it i love it that long a year and a half i think right or maybe not quite a year and a half maybe since uh december when we started going full full time again but anyway still hey paul that's a way to uh, come on in and say hello to people that you don't know hi cool 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 carrie hello thank you for contributing to our challenges dazul how are you sir Thank you for contributing to our challenges. Adams, what's shaking? Booty, I love booty. Booty is great. Uh, Isaac says he's lucky if a primary line was touching that ground, he'd have been, yeah. Yeah, a and, and it's crazy, right? Should be changed to back end stuff. Wait, what? Oh, I see what you mean. Well, no, the goons, that that was the that was just what the failure line was, right? Yeah. I I I know what you mean though, right? Uh there's there's a couple heist fail lines that refer to wrestlers that are not here or teams that what? are not here now. Ah. Uh, I mean, I guess I could, because I, I was actually thinking about op about op opening the channel back up to allow people to suggest heist fails, um, to you know, because having more failures is good because then you have a you have a bigger variety, right? Because when you do the heist a lot and and we fail quite a bit, uh, you'll see that some of the same ones keep coming up over and over, but they're all like a random thing, right? So. Um, that is on my list of things to do, so it's not a big deal, but I just got to do it. Adam says he trusts his vo Excel volt meter. Just resubscribed for three months. Hit and run. Have a good stream. Hey, Taven. Thank you for the hit and run. How are you? And no worries, dude. Thank you for the resub. I appreciate it very, very, very much. Um, muchos gracias. You do hit and run. No problem. I understand because like work and stuff it's all good and it's all good um thank you for the resub dude i appreciate it very very much uh he was last playing the last of us part one one day i will play that it's on my list of things to do yeah um i like i have like the volt not a voltmeter, but like the, you know, like the thing you put beside like a wire and it, and it will tell you if there's actually current there or not. Even if it comes back and says, oh no, it's fine, right? I, I like, what if there's something wrong with the thing? And then I touch it, right? There, there, it's paranoid, it's like, it's just constant. What if, what if, what if I'm the guy? You know, what if I'm the you one that's on the, the roller coaster and then that's when it breaks. But all the thousands of different times that it works fine, you know. Anyways, so it's a it's a thing I deal with. Uh, so he's lucky. Yeah, if there was yeah, he he would have been cooked, eh? Like he would have been done. Uh, as random as possible. Yeah, so I do an, uh, so I grab all of the heist fails. Actually, they're all put into an array in the script, so it's just hard coded. Uh, I don't have them in a, D a DB at all because I didn't really see a point of it. Um, but I do an M an empty rand. I think that's the closest thing to uh, random as you can get in P in PHP. So, um, yeah. Sub sub and runs are like stones. Raid and runs. Oh man, I try not to do the raid and runs if I can't help it. But uh, yeah, I know, I know. But when the stream is over, I gotta go pee pee poo poo, and then I gotta get off the computer because body body is stupid. Body can't sit at the computer for too long, or else I pay the price. Like right now, my my leg, my my left leg and my left foot. I don't know what the hell is going on. 
Le my foot was sore first about a week ago and it hasn't stopped. And it's like the top of the foot on the outside-ish, but the top. And, uh, and now my leg started last night. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's just getting old stuff. Uh, my list is too long. Kermino, what's up, man? How are you? Kermino! <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that, but there you go. All right, we're going to start off with a Lurker Reward match. It's a tag team match. Uh, Phalanx Soul won it. He selected 5-Minute Majors, which he's a member of. Wow, excuse me. Burpee, burpee. Uh, to take on the Maulers. They are the tag team champions. What the hell, bro? <clears throat> Okay. Um, it would be non-title match, no extra power points, uh, and no getting injected into the number one contender because uh, we do that on purpose for any Lurker reward match. But it's still a bit of a bragging right kind of thing. So we're gonna get it loaded and when it and it will start shortly. Wow, just wow. Yep, I'm sorry. Sorry, man. Uh, the maximum bet will be 1,000 when it opens. <clears throat> Lord. I woke up at 5. Stayed up. Did the breakfasts for the boys. And uh, went back to bed at like quarter after 9. Alright, looks like we got a blue bar. Better than... Oh, no, better not say that. Alright, here we go. Maximum bet, 1,000. The following tag team match is scheduled for one fall. First, at a total combined weight of 427 pounds, Marko Vujovic and Blitzkrieg, they are five minute majors. I should probably say they are Marko v v Vujovic and Blitzkrieg, five minute majors, but I put the they are before the tag team game. Anyways, whatever. Uh, five minute majors are nine for 13. 0 oh, and 2 against the Maulers, and I updated the info card. All right. Phalanx Soul is the manager for Marco. Goals, aka Cregan, or Cregan, aka Goals Official, is the manager for Let's Krieg. Goals has shifted over from 23 to 25. Huzzah. I saw some clips of 25 where, where players were getting body checked right up into the stands. It's crazy. It's funny as hell. I don't know if it's happened in goals yet, but <laughs> you see this player get checked. Whee! Off he goes into space. <laughs> Their opponents, at a total combined weight of 495 pounds, Colonel Andres Rivera and Sebastian Van Sines. They are the men's tag team champions, the Maulers. All right, the Maulers are 10 for 11. 2 and 0 against their opponents. Haha, it worked. G-Man runs his own E-Fed Renegade Wrestling Federation. R uh, uh, WF. And Rosa runs her E-Fed Rosa's Dancing Wrestling Federation RD uh, WF. You can find both of them at NYG Man 70. Yay, it works. So uh and so if you're running an E-Fed, I, I have it set up in the DB. Oh shit. Okay, nope. I didn't set, I set the controller to be one. That's okay, and we'll restart the match. Let's go. Sorry, 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 sorry. There we go, that's fair. This is now a fair match, bing, bing. Uh, so yeah, I, uh, if you've got an E-Fed, it will use the E-Fed plug for your shout out instead of the regular shout out for somebody that doesn't have an E-Fed. If you have a tier three, 
uh, like a pop-out that has its own text. I modified some of the text a little bit to be a little bit shorter. Uh, so it will still show your text. However, if you have an EFED, the EFED will be added onto the end of it. So at least we can plug some of our friends' EFEDs a little bit better and have it as a link in chat. Stone Mistakes 1. Yup. Yup. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I do. That's what I do. Isaac is starting up a heist. Let's go. Let's go. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I also got a my a my stats command too. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it'll show your your betting stats, which should be current. Uh betting stats, heist stats, and SWAT stats. And they should be current. Should be. Cause it's pulling right from the DB itself. And they should at you so you can see in all the other texts and commands and stuff. Yeah, buddy. Got a nine count. We have 20 counts. All right, let's do a heist start. Hey, yo, this is Mr. Fixit yeah, here and to inform you there's a heist being organized. This is your cue to participate, or else. Is that true? Like, maybe. Only, like, I, I feel like mine was low, too, but... I'm not sure, eh? Because I have them all flagged to say, hey, if you've won, it sets it to one, right? Uh, and then go and count it. Well, I, I think heists are generally much easier to fail because it's really de depend dependent on the amount of people that we have in the heist. Now what I should do is double check those numbers against what's up on the website because I have a high stats page there, betting stats and slot stats there too, like as a static page to show like the top 100 and, and the top, uh, like the most, like the most successful people over the last 45 days. And Isaac, where is Isaac's, right? Isaac has not won a single heist? See, I think that's wrong. And I'm pretty sure he's won one. Like zero for 43? I'm, I'm pretty sure he's won one. Like he's won at least one, right? So maybe the high stats are not correct. Well, Isaac lost here. I mean, and now we could check too, right? So I made it. Justin did not. Uh, so Isaac uh, got hit by Zorix with a steel trap after putting ketchup on steak. Ha! I made it. So Justin got stuck in a Benny Hill chase. Ha ha. <laughs> Adams uh, stopped to eat cookies made by the baker. Those are going to be coming this Christmas. 
Allie made it. Carmino made it. All right, so I made it. The last time I did my stats was... Uh, how many points did I have? Heist wins. I had 106, 116. So I should be at 117 now, right? My stats. Nope, I'm still at 116. Okay, yeah, so that so that's wrong. 2646. 2646. So why? I don't understand. Okay. Well, adding it to my list. Hmm. Heists look raw or heist uh stance are wrong. All right, let me see, uh, what slots? 182 for 1,003. My stats. A loss, so 182 for 1,004, yeah. So I think heist is wonky. Betting should be okay. Ooh, wow, the positioning. Looked like Sebastian Van Size was ready to make Marco a new vampire. Ooh, well, right upside the head. Lethal, wow. A bit of an FU to the tag team champs. Here are your winners, five minute majors. Wow. Congratulations. Balance Soul and Cregan. Hey Rosa, how are you? Rosa. Rosa. Oh no, another pair of pants. Oh my god, man. So Carrie has this rule for me, and and I've agreed to abide by it. If there's a hole in a pair of shorts or something, or pair, pair of anything, shirt, whatever, throw it out. Or we could repurpose it and use it for like rags and stuff, right? Fine. Okay, fine. I already put aside two pairs of shorts because they had holes in them. Two. In the last week. The pair I'm wearing right now, I just found a hole. <sighs> bad now? Why bad? Why bad? Why why do you heal? Rosa's being such a villain. I'm I'm doing okay. Doing okay. You're lost, but now we found you. I know what you mean. Lost the match, I know. But then I say lost because you don't know where to be. But now we found you, so, you know, because lost is too... I know I'm a bozo. I know, I know, I know. I know. I know. Alright, we're gonna start off with a triple threat. I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna have to ditch these shorts now too. Justin underscores I just cheered two bits. Two bits, thank you, Justin. Right, we got triple threat. Uh maximum bet is one thousand. Here we go. The following triple threat match is scheduled for one fall. First, hailing from St. Petersburg, Russia, weighing 180 pounds, Elizabeth Wusong. 
Musav is one for two in triple threats. She is the artist formerly known as Lady Red. It is true, it's true. She is managed by yours truly. I have heard some disturbing things that uh, Lady Red, oops, I mean, Lizaveta Usa. I mean, once, once, once you go red, you can't go back, right? So, Usa has been treating her friend very badly, from what I understand, even so far as that to make her cry. It's really unfortunate. I hope it's just rumors and people saying that they heard, that they saw, but sometimes if enough people say it must it may it may actually be true you know hailing from toronto canada weighing 120 pounds the baker the baker is three for 28 in triple threats managed by the boss i'm the boss who is upstairs earning our cheddar well i mean She's upstairs working. Okay, hold on. Uh, she's on the main floor working from home, okay? Well, oh, okay. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, let's, let's just leave it at that. Uh, Carrie will be shed for you. <laughs> Hailing from the HRM, weighing 141 pounds, she is the women's universal champion, Maple Marksman. Marksman is two for 19 in triple threats. She's held the title for 69 days. Defended it once uh, last time at Halloween Havoc. She is managed by Nephi. Nephi! This is a non-title matchup. But it is a sanctioned match, so... Um, pinning her will... Or making her submit will uh, get people extra points and put them into the number one contenders match. Don't hurt myself, I know... I know my brain goes into stupid places sometimes. And then it's like, oh no, backpedal. I hope these rumors with Usav are not true because. Ufa. Ufa. Oh, wow, L a little uh, double team effort uh, by the Canadians taking on Usov. Wow. And that was short lived. So usually when I make the breakfasts, I make a English like egg muffin, like a fried egg muffin, fried egg on an English muffin for son one and then some scr scrambled egg for eggs for son two because he has a hard time to eat the English muffin because of his braces. Um, so uh, usually when I make the fried egg, I make one for myself too. and. Uh, so it's like one for both myself and son one. And uh, I was like, hey, man, do you, do you want this one too? And he's like, yeah. So he had both of them, right? Oh, fine. But then I realized, oh, man, I'm hungry. But then I went upstairs and fell asleep. And uh, now that I was thinking it, it had popped into my head and now I'm hungry. Man. And even having the coffee... Uh, after waking up from my nap, from my morning nap. Oh, wow. Maple Marksman 
whip whipped out the Slim Jim and said bake with this. Oh wow, Maple Marksman! Holy moly, I didn't know that a hunter could fly. Oh, the baker just kicks out. Holy Moses. In incredible Isaacs. You know, for not having to say holy, holy Moses. Yeah, that's a new thing now. Totally. Incredible Isaacs. Oh boy. Woo! What? Oh no, the Baker! What are you doing? Maple Marksman was right there. She's like, no. I don't think so. Oh no! The there was a whole lot of one after another and after another. Sweet baby Jesus. Wow, the baker. Oh! There's a rolling pin. No, that's not the rolling pin. That was the pounder. She likes to pound the dough. Maybe that's just called pound the dough. Because her, because her head is doughy. Or something. I don't know. Listen, I don't, I don't know what's going on. All right, bro. Man, what the hell is Usopp doing? There we go. I don't know if Usav was yapping at the baker, but oh no! Wow! German su suplexed Maple Marksman right onto the chair. Yikes. And she chucked her too. Usav seems to be a little bit more mean. Oh boy. Uh, the baker coming out with the kendo stick. Here we go. Jeffy took a little bit. Oh, Jeffy, watch out! What? I said, oh, Jeffy, watch out. Justin, what's the matter with your ear hearing? Earring. What, what's the matter with your earring? <laughs> Lord. Speaking of, gotta go to, uh, gotta call. Oh, no, I think, I think we're gonna wait. Uh, we've heard mixed things about um whether or not a costco like the pharmacy will let us buy a hearing aid for my mom who is not a member right so we're uh we have heard both both that they would allow it and then they don't allow it so we have to go and check and they said it's best to go just check your store hey dante thank you for contributing to our challenges you saw i've only got a one count And I went to call on Sunday, and they should have been open, but I uh, got voicemail. Like, okay, well, we'll just wait till we actually go there, I guess. So, yeah, if they have to, like, test it and fit it, they may require a uh, worship. Yeah, like, some some people said for sure that they would accept her at, uh, to do the hearing test and, you know, for the, pre the prelim without having a, a, mem a membership but then i saw mixed um mixed responses of yes they would do it even if yes they would give her a or let her buy a hearing aid through me but then i've also seen people saying no so, like they re they require you to have the the, me the membership and even if it's like the base one it's fine too and uh, so then overall i think like someone else is saying yeah just go and call your store because 
it may it may be a store thing that they may kind of overlook some stuff so we're just gonna wait till we go again oh wow power slam on the chair Usav Oh god, the baker. The baker got Usav up. And that's the rolling pin. Oh lord. Wow, Maple Markson's got the chair. They're gonna fight over Usav. <laughs> this marksman nails Usav with the chair. <laughs> it's like I can't get to you. That's fine. I'll just nail Usav. Wow, Jeffy. Marksman, the champ in this non-title matchup, picks up the victory. Here is your winner, the women's universal champion, Maple Marksman. Congratulations, Nuffy. Wait, what was that? Oh, I I think I heard Usopp swearing in Russian. That's not very nice. All right, Mark Smith is your winner. Yeah. Gonna have a one on one. Snake Eyes taking on Teddy King. Teddy King. Cha 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 cha. Maximum bet. Be 500. And there we go. Here we go. Not there we go. Here we go. The following match is scheduled for one fall. First, hailing from Queens, New York, weighing 175 pounds, Snake Eyes. Snake Eyes is one for five. In singles matches, never gone up against Teddy King before. He is an NPC wrestler. Downloaded from the wonderful community creations, because I don't have the time nor skill to create something as marvelous as this. And Isaac says uh, he had to walk away to talk to a contractor. Damn contractors. Howdy, everybody. That you haven't said the howdies to. Howdy, howdy. Dante says she woke up this morning to two inches. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, you probably want more, right? Oh, of snow. Oh. <laughs> you got to tear me apart, Lisa. Uh, yep. His opponent, hailing from San Juan, Puerto Rico, weighing 245 pounds, Teddy King. Is it Teddy or Toddy? Teddy King is six for 14 in singles matches. Managed by Takuya, the manager of Takuya Championship Wrestling Federation. I think he said he was thinking about changing the name to just TCW without the end and dropping the F. I haven't heard from him. Yeah, uh, Dante, you can keep the snow over there. The scary cold white stuff that falls to the sky and makes people forget. Yeah, yeah, uh, most most people don't remember how to drive after, like, when you get the first snowfall. It takes a, a good day or two of it being around for people to, to, to remember that they can't just tear around. And even, and even if they've got their snows on, you know, it's still like if you're going pretty quick, it still takes longer to break, right? Or it takes longer to come to a complete stop when you break, even with your snows on.
Ding, ding, ding. Snake Eyes is a ninja. So you're likely going to see a lot of flippy-dippy, high-flying moves. Your kid's bus was 10 minutes late, and he was saying, hur hur hurry up, kids. Time to go get stuck in traffic. Yeah, that's true. Right? Yeah. 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 Whoa, Teddy King is like, hey, I can do flippy-dippy moves, too. King in for the cover. Oh, we'll count. Yeah. I think we actually have it on our budget to put on our snows this week or next week, but... Uh, uh, we haven't had, like, we've had one day of minus one weather, but that was just overnight. I, I don't think we've had a daytime low in the minuses, so I don't know. I don't know, man. Like, like we usually put these snows on carries because Carrie drives uh, to work in her in her in her car. For mine, uh, I don't have a snows, so um, I just leave my normal tires on the whole time, and I don't use my car a lot in the winter time. And generally, we don't get a ton of snow. Like we just don't. Not like it was. And even then, Toronto never really got a lot of snow compared to everyone else. Yeah. yeah. Pretty sure this snow is here to stay for like the winter. Ooh. Yeah, you you guys get it much earlier than I do. I mean, even last winter, we didn't get snow until after Christmas. It was the first time that we had a uh, green Christmas for, like, I don't know, since I can remember. Because usually when we didn't get snow, it, it, it would drop like a day or two before. Now it's like, uh, I, I think last year we didn't really get snow that stayed until January. Big spear by Snake Eyes. Got him! Teddy who? Teddy King not gonna get up. Something like that. Here's your winner, Snake Eyes. Oh, Dante. There was a day in November, uh, just a couple weeks, like maybe about a week ago or so, that was really nice out, and I was gonna do it, and I slept. And we didn't do it. And now if we go do it, it's like, ah, uh, it's going to be so cold. Uh-oh. Why? I know what you mean, though. We, like, where we put up our Christmas lights, we don't put them up and up and around the house. Like, we put them on, like, the guardrail, like, the handrail of our uh, little front porch. And we put them inside our bushes. And I guess in theory we could leave them there there all year round. We just don't have them on, but it takes about a half an hour to get everything up and running. So it's not a big deal. But it's gonna be cold, man. Alright, Snake Eyes is your winner. Let me do payouts. Payouts! Oh, here's actually a good a good test. Uh, I last did my stats. Where are they? My betting was fifteen thirty six for four forty seven sixty two. I mean, so it should be fifteen thirty six for forty seven sixty three. 
64. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, because I missed one that I actually won. Okay. Good, 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 good. So that's where. So it's just the high stats are off. All right, we got Maddie Hunter taking on Candy Mandy. One on one. Here we go. The following match is scheduled for one fall. First, hailing from Toronto, Canada, weighing 135 pounds, Maddie Hunter. Maddie Hunter is one for, oh, it's 51 for 98. Wow, this is singles match number 99 for her. One for one against Candy Mandy. She is managed by Maddie Hunter. Last playing no game? Well, that's not true. Now, Maddie Hunter is ta is partnered up with the Baker as Sugar and Spice. The Baker is managed by Carrie, who is also the manager for her opponent today. Hmm. Her opponent, hailing from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing 140 pounds, Candy Mandy. Candy Mandy is 60 for 101. That is not her real hair. That's true. I'm the boss. She is managed by Carrie. So the last time Candy Mandy took on someone, that was oh it was candy mandy and the baker fighting each other and uh i don't remember who won but i just remember that the match was over real quick and they were both managed by carrie and i'm and we were wondering if maybe carrie had put the fix in and said just just wrestle for like a minute and then like one of you take the fall because you don't want your, yourselves to get hurt and i'm wondering if so if something similar is going to happen here Maybe. Maybe. Come on, carry crimes. What? Isaac lost in the gambling. Oh, the gambling I, I also cannot do. Oh, wait. I can though, manage that. I can't track that because it's not my own stats. Or it's not my own code. In theory, I could port it over and just write, write something myself, but... We have slots. Um, where is it under modules? Modules, right? Yeah. And when you lose, I think it's GG two and sorry two, right? GG two, GG two, GG two. Pretty sure it's a GG two is the follower email. I'm sorry to. Because I made it so that Daughter Prime can use these emotes, but they're follower only, and they can only be used here in the channel. It says it's saved, but... Let's see. Gamble 100, 1,000. Hey, it worked. It's always cool when things work. Imagine that. Imagine a world where we could all just get along and we could build a spaceship and explore the universe. Imagine. Anyways, I'll just stop. Uh, speaking of singing, that kind of reminds me, uh, tomorrow night we'll be doing a variety stream. Uh, definitely going to start off with the Carrie's uh, karaoke sing, sing for me reward. It's going to be Amish Paradise. <sighs> and after that, it's probably going to be some suit. Su uh, 
Doku or I don't know, maybe some Warcraft. I haven't done it for a while. Uh, I did have um, Adams. I did have a look at web fishing, and from what I could find, um, you have to own the game. And I f and I'm looking on my friends list, and I think it's only you and I that own the game to actually be able to play. So I don't want to. Um, didn't want to really necessarily play like a multiplayer game unless more than like just you and I had it right like if like if there was like a good four or five people that had it okay but I kind of don't don't want to um like I know I don't control people you know but uh, sometimes FOMO is a very strong thing, and I get that a lot, and I don't want people to spend money because of FOMO, you know? But I I am really bad for it. <laughs> Go look at, Blizz, at BlizzCon for five years. Ugh. Yeah. Mm. So I think we're going to do su Sudoku or... Uh, duo, lingo maybe, but it's 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 probably going to be a very chill stream or find something else that I haven't really played a lot or haven't played at all and just play it once. I think I, I think right now on the Discord I have it listed as su Doku, but uh, as always that could change. Wow! Oh, big spinebuster by Maddie Hunter. There are ads, so we will add points to all. Sorry for the ads. Oh wow, I don't think Maddie Hunter ate. Now we now we were thinking this match was gonna go quick, but I guess not. Maddie Hunter. Ooh, what the hell? What the hell is this? I don't think I've seen Maddie Hunter do this move. Gosh. Went in for the submission, couldn't get it. And I'm going for the cover now. Got her. Wow. Gosh. Gosh, dang old poop. Here is your winner, Maddie Hunter. Congratulations, Maddie. Don't be Maddie at me. Alright, our next match is uh, going to be between Cowboy Kurt Cunningham and Sephiroth. Uh, from what I understand, they could already be down at ringside? Maybe? Anyways, maximum bet will be 500. Uh, I, think, I think they're actually already down at ringside. If my information is correct. Here we go. Yeah. There we go. Cowboy Kurt comes forward with to Sephiro and they exchange a handshake of what well, I get respect or okay got Kyle oh that means that our 20 count will not be a 20 count it will be a 10 count if we get into the count out territories I wonder uh, maybe Cowboy Kurt has his eye on uh, Sephiro for some uh, mountain climbing Dante knows what I mean. Maybe Sephiroth doesn't know. Maybe Sephiroth's cool with that.
Maybe this is just a warm up for some mountain climbing that will happen afterwards. I don't know. Listen, we don't judge. We just try and figure things out. And we could be completely wrong. Because Lord knows, boy, have I been wrong before. Almost got a seven count. Cowboy Kurt covers, gets right up on top of Cephalo, climbing the mountain a little bit. Or, yeah, you know. Anyways, Cephalo now going in for the cover. He's like, no, this is what it feels like. Both of them take, taking turns, being on top of each other climbing their own mountains. I mean, that's nice. Like, a little bit of a back and forth. You know. Uh, no worries, man. No worries, no worries, no worries. It's all good. That actually reminds me, I should make sure that the work... I did open it. Alright, 13 points. Enter 13. Enter 13! Alright. Yep. It's a working. Mount Manflesh. Uh, yep. What, one of Cowboy Kurt's fun facts is, uh... Something about a, a, bro a broke back mountain, or something, or something like that. I forget what, what it was. Hold on, let me see. Let's see if I can get it to show up. Oh, actually, we actually didn't do it. Um, Suffer wrote, or no, Cow Cowboy Kurt is 33 for 87, one and zero against Suffer. We didn't do the shoutouts because uh, they just started the match, right? So, uh, Cowboy Kurt is managed by Dante Moon. And Sephiroth, 34 for 65. It's managed by Sephiroth. Apparently, Sephiroth has a red pet red panda named Wiggles. Okay. Drops a big elbow. Cowboy Kurt went sailing. He went flying through the air. Oh, man. Right to the forehead. Took that fist, stuck it right in his face. Cowboy Kurt comes out. Comes out on top. Gosh. Here is your winner, Cowboy Kurt Cunningham. Beat it, Sephiro. Came out on top. Began with a little bit of respect. Which I was kind of surprised because I, I don't know if uh, I would have envisioned Sephiroth being a respect, sh showing respect kind of guy. But, oh, okay. Sure. Maybe. Oh, well, I'm seeing that the uh, that there's a rivalry here. Okay. Well, thanks, 2K. Um, maybe there's going to be a rivalry start. Maybe it's a mini one because we're going to have WrestleMania 5 in about, uh, what's the day today? 18th? So in a month and two days, roughly. December 22nd. All right, Cowboy Kurt is your winner. I'm gonna get sucked into the hole. I don't know. Sorry. Ah, <laughs> uh, I crack me up. And if I can't crack 
y'all up. If I can't crack up Carrie, gotta crack up myself. You know? All right, we're gonna have a uh, tag team match. Random pairing between Lilith Knight and Arlandi. They will take on Covert Ops. We've had, we've seen Arlandi fight Jinx, I think twice already, in one-on-one -on -one matches. And I'm pretty sure Arlandi has beaten the snot out of Jinx both times. So, not sure if this is like the game doing it or what, but uh, or the AI, sorry, the AI like that's in control of our match creations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's keep it in immersed. Uh, yeah. Maximum bet will be 500. Here we go. I actually think the random pairing between these two uh, are is is bang on because they both have like a similar look. Look like they could be the rock, the rock, the rockers, eh? Like if I had to, or or you could call them heavy metal. The following tag team match is scheduled for one fall. First, hailing from Eastern Canada, weighing 187 pounds, Arlandi. Arlandi is managed by Miss Arlandria. That's playing Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Fallen Order. Last playing Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. You should absolutely give them a follow. I have no idea what this accent is, but apparently I'm doing it and we're going with it. Yeah, if I had to put uh, Orlandi and Lilith Knight as like a perma tag team, you know, as like a official tag team, I would probably call them heavy metal or like uh i don't know rate rage fist or something <laughs> i don't know i'm not good at her partner hailing from chicago illinois weighing 122 pounds lilith knight lilith knight is managed by voodoo ash the principal inspiration for our efed he runs two feds actually one is voodoo doll wrestling vdw find him at voodoo ash on twitch all those schwarz and veda Nah. I am your father. <laughs> Their opponents at a total combined weight of 245 pounds. Andrew just resubscribed for three months. Let's go. Jinx and Scarlet. Covert Ops. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just like laughing my ass off. Covert Ops is 6 for 12. They are an NPC tag team. Mr. Landra, thank you for the resub. I appreciate it very, very much. I hope I hope you're... I hope you're doing well today. I hope you're doing well today. Wow, excuse me. I got the burps. Does this work? It does. Arlandria. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What the unrecognized command? The f what? There we go. Mr. Landria, thank you. Thank you for the reset. I appreciate it very, very much. Uh, we give her a shout out for her wrestler coming out there who is like laying down there on the ground. Get, got bailed out by her tag team partner for today's match. But you should def definitely get, give her a follow. We randomly found each other via... She did a... Like, a, like it was almost like a random raid with, what? Resident Evil? I forget what the game was. It was like a horror game. It was, it was Resident Evil 2 or... 
I don't think it was Dead Space. Uh, it was Resident Evil 2, okay. Zorts the Goblin just oh. cheered 100 bits. Great. Oh look, the dweeb is streaming again. Great. Zorts. Thank you for the 100 bits, Zorts. What's up, Zorts? Uh-huh. Just got up. Funny how that works. Zorts. Like you open up one eye and then you open up another. And then you open up your ears. And then you close your legs. And then you flip them out over the bed. And then Zorts gets up. Shift life on man. Right. You're a night you're a night walker. Close your legs. That's right. Listen, that's what I heard. Not not that I have cameras in your room. When when Zort sleeps, he is splayed wide open. That's right. And now and now that I've insulted you. Uh for people listening, it's okay with friends. Uh Zorts, can you send me the thing by the end of the month? Are you are you still okay by the end of the month? Like in like a week or so? Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Cause I was thinking about um it would be cool to do some promos maybe and some lead up to that match instead of just having the match and a month would give me about uh about three weeks or so to kind of start start laying it down do you need uh, I think just the other thing. I don't, I don't know. I wasn't planning on it. But, I don't know. Uh, I'm not, I'm not actually sure if I, if I have space, actually. I have about three or four spots open. Stomp the yard all the way around. Cause if we did stand, then I'd need the set the set the sex doll. Which, which, which is fine. It just I don't know if I have space. You know? I think Lilith Knight and Arlandi in terms of attire. I mean, they, they just go go together, right? And if we had, and if we ever had a random pairing that ever looked like that they weren't just a random pairing, it would be these two. And I would be tempted to bug Arlandria and Vu to see if they'd be okay with making a, a like a firm firm tag team. Firm. Um, I mean a semi permanent tag team you know not and not just be a rando um, firm i don't know oh mr lander is here that's right oh my god listen okay i don't know what's going on <laughs> so mr lander is down wow uh i'm sorry you're going to use zorts's sex doll is that what i heard uh or yeah ali we um not last year the year before, we had a Stan the Santa and the sex doll. Uh, but the sex doll was like for women, right? Yeah, because we had, because we needed both, right? So. Well, 
right? Or am I crazy? No, I no, I think the sex doll was men too, right? So what, we didn't have a women's stand, the Santa? It's been so long. Oh, a stand versus sex doll. Oh, got you. Oh, there we go. Our Landy picks up the way with I'm gonna point out, our Landy gets the pin on Jinx again. Jinx is like, oh my god, every time she faces Orlandria, it does or Orlandi, it doesn't matter if it's a singles or or tag team. She keeps getting pinned by Orlandi. Here are your winners, Orlandi and Lilith Knight. Gosh, she's so thick. Mm. Wait. What? I remember that stone, but as Worky Lurky, you just heard you were using his sex doll and it cracked up. Yeah. And then he gender bended. Oh, that's right. But I gender bended mine too. Like my wrestler, because I had Stone Ella. Right? GG, Arlandria, and Vu. Voodoo. Uh. Now, if you're really down for it, I can ask him. Uh, I, I could ask uh, Vu if he's um, open for Lilith Knight because some I, I I don't know if I don't know if he said no Lilith is like always single because there's some wrestlers that are like that and I always forget so it's yeah it's no uh, okay yeah I'll I'll ask him. And if he's cool with it, I'll put you two into like a little mini group in dis in Discord and you guys can talk. Vu is like a super awesome person, super nice. Um, I've known him f since about 2019. Um, he's too nice. He puts up with a lot of people's crap, including mine. Vu's, Vu's a good Justin dude. Justin underscore as I just cheered Vu's 100 bits. Good people. Ladies and gentlemen, the Dweeb of Canada Stone. Have uh, Lilith Knight uh, tagged with. I have it on my list. Uh, Justin, thank you for the 100 bits, man. Vu's a good brother. Yeah, he is. He's, he, like I said, he puts up with a lot of stuff, man. All uh, right, let's do payouts. Oh, it'd help if I started the next match, eh? Maybe. Dweeb of Canada? Wait, la ladies and gentlemen, the Dweeb of Canada stone. Oh, man. Justin, why did you have to give Zorts more ammunition? I appreciate the 100 bits, though, but... Now, well, Ali is gonna is starting up a heist. Let's get that going. Lord Thunder and Jesus, by ah, uh, Zorts. Zorts and I have put up with some stuff. Zorts has put up with a lot of my BS too. But we've known each other even longer than I've known Vu. Been almost 10 years now, right? No, about eight, nine. No, anyways. Long time. God bless the internet. If we didn't have that, I would never have known Zerts, right? Wow, Challenges Podcast. Right there. Uh, let's do a heist to start. It was all because of the WoW Challenges podcast. Hey, yo, this is Mr. Fixit yeah. here to inform you there's a heist being organized. This is your cue to participate or else. With something like um, we, uh, like he was doing Iron Man, right, on his, on his stream. And so we're like, well, ask him on as a guest. He's like, what? Really? Yep. Uh, and then, oh, there was one show we did, uh, and Lita was gone, and it was Zorts and I. The boys were in charge of the show. That was so much fun. We were so drunk. <laughs> that was good shit. Uh, 
Ali says, so grateful for the met friends I've met online. Yeah, and that and that's like the thing too, is like like I understand it's a different way of thinking, but the way that we were was like, oh, they're online people, they don't matter. That's bullshit, right? Y'all are people. Like 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 there's a person in behind the name, right? So it's like there's friendships that are made. And they're just as valid as somebody you met in, in locally. In fact, I, I feel like I've talked with y'all more than I've talked with people locally, right? Um, well, Stone, you have to admit I had some of the most spectacular deaths in Iron Man history. Yeah, man. People of the internet, right? The, the chosen family. Oh, boy. Just don't drink the Kool-Aid, okay? All right, we have uh, Chris Redfield taking on Colonel Andres Rivera. Maximum bet will be 500. Um, all right, here we go. All right, oh, I guess Chris Redfield's already in the ring. Colonel Andres coming down. I told them to let me know when they're gonna like when they're coming down so I can change the scene over. I guess I'm too busy talking, but Chris Redfield is like, I'm not, I'm, I'm just getting in there. Kyle, you shut up. That's what I heard him say. Holy moly. Well, uh, okay. Well, here we go. I guess the match is going to start here. Good Lord. Uh, we're going to do some intros, I guess. Uh, Chris Redfield is 27 for 57. One for two against Colonel Rivera. He is managed by Adams. Hey, Bobby. Bobby! Did it work? Did it work? It did. Adams is the druid with the dude. Yeah. Hey. Uh, his opponent, Colonel Rivera. Is 30 for 43. 69.8%. Two for one. He is the net champion. The title, that title is not on the line. He will be defending that at Galactic Wrestling in about, uh, actually a week from today. will be our next Galactic Wrestling show. And he is managed by Rosa. Colonel Rivera is also one half of the men's tag team champs. Sixty-nine, nice. I know. Eh? I, I saw that. I was like, whoa. Uh, we do we have heist results are coming in? Yes, we have nine in the heist. Holy Moses! Allie made it out. I was tasered by a nearby cop. Rosa, right, is the manager of Rosa's Dancing Wrestling Federation. You can go find them at uh, NYG Man Seventy. Arlandria made it out. Zorts trying to open arm in. Person's at car door. Oh, that was a reference to something in AEW, I think, right? Justin Rosai, tap for Rosa. I mean, if you're going to tap for anyone, at least tap for Rosa. Dante made it. Adams made it. Carrie made it. Kermino made it. No vault, though. Still, yeah, that was a good heist. Now, if only the stats for the heist would work. I'm just hoping that they're still recorded. Like, I thought... I thought that they're being recorded, but uh, now I'm questioning because if it didn't increase the amount of heist, or I'm, I could be pulling from the wrong table, maybe. Anyways, uh, if Chris Redfield wins this match, he will be put into the men's battle royal by default, even if he was in it last week. Uh, unfortunately, Chris Redfield is not part of a tag team, so a win here over Colonel Londres will not put him into a tag team number one match. But there will be extra points for sure. Rivera, after being attacked by Redfield right off the bat, not really letting him get a chance to set up, looks like he's about to lose. Redfield says, no, screw you, man. Oh, my God. Another, he's, holy jeez, again. And, oh, well. Well, right in the middle of the ring. That one looked like it really hurt. 
Got him. Colonel Rivera. Colonel frickin' Rivera, eh? Somebody's gotta stop him. Here is your winner, Colonel Andres Rivera. Rivera, 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 Rivera. Boom, roasted. Even attacking right off the bat didn't really help. Did not help at all. Apparently the game is like, hey, you're going to do a rivalry. Uh, any rivalries that we may have will kind of uh, get stopped at the end of WrestleMania because we're going to we'll have our two week pause and uh, set things back up for the new year. Twenty five plan is to not buy 2k25 please don't think about gifting just in case uh because even if you gifted it like there's still a lot of work to port things over if 25 had like a porting thing that would be a little bit of a different story uh also not planning on buying the big edition because i'm done throwing 180 dollars can canadian after taxes at a game like this it's a great game but way too expensive so if we did 25 it would be base and i'm i'm not planning on it the plan is to use 24 all the way through to a 26 if it comes out or another another game as an fyi just 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 saying just making sure that we're all on the up and up I could change my mind. I reserve the right to change my mind. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Sorry. I reserve the right to change my mind. <laughs> okay, let's do payouts. <laughs> Sorry. That will always stick with me. Always stick with me. Oh, what the heck? What did I do? Oh! Oh, she borgified everyone. Zalandria gifted five subscriptions to the community. I, I uh, thank you. Oh, okay. I was gonna say I saw that the sub subscribed with Prime. Uh Miss Arlandria, thank you very much. <laughs> I don't know. Now I'm like, now I don't know what to do with myself. Uh, Mr. Landria, without looking, thank you for gifting five tier one subs to people in the chat. Uh, to Grand Negus, I know him. To Calvert, we know him. To Solana, we know her. To Big Top, we know him. And Mini Me. Is Mini Me from your community? Is that is that is that where we met them? I think. Yes, sorry, thank you very much. Uh, thank you for helping us to reach our sub goal. Uh, kept it at thirty. We're just gonna keep it there at thirty. Keep it there for a little bit and we'll do whatever. I I appreciate it very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you very very much. I you absolutely do not have to do that. Um, thank you. Now I'm going to be awkward as F. So I'm not, I can't look at the camera now. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, can I do this? I can do this. Nope. There we go. Thank you very much. Please, please give her a follow. We, we've known her for a bit now. Just just a little bit. It's been less than a year, but... But, you know. Who is counting? Yep. I told you. Make your fucking awkward. This is what I do. Okay. Thank you very, very much. If you got a gift sub from Mr. Landria, please thank her. She does, absolutely does not need to do that. Uh, thank you. Aliandris, yeah, spending that money every year to get the latest is a lot. Yep. 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 
And considering that money in the bank doesn't what? work in universe mode, and the guy that takes care of that side of things says it's like they don't like to touch it because it's broken. That doesn't leave me with high hopes for 25, for 26. Wait, 25. No. Nope. Take that, sub goal. Oh, I was going to do a hand motion, but I don't know if I should do it. Uh, Bobby, thank you for the resub. I appreciate it as well. Muchos gracias. What? I said, I'm Bobby. smarter than you, and you haven't even figured it out yet. I said, Bobby, thank you for the resub. I appreciate it. Muchos gracias. We've known Bobby for a long, long time. Sub for 24 months. If he wasn't already a VIP, uh, we would have made him a VIP because we used to do it um, where the VIPs were, if you were subbed for 24 months, didn't have to be in, in consecutive, but we set it as like a two year thing. And then I, anyways, I, what the heck is going on? Oh! oh. Oh my god, that's Shashi another five. Shashi Top gifted five oh. subscriptions to the community. Dang, you had a work call. Yep. Missed the last 25 minutes? Ah, no worries, man. Yeah, it's all it's all good. We uh, were... We have lots of folks that are in and out. <laughs> um, yeah. Big Top, how are you, man? I, yeah, I gotta keep the hat down. No eye contact. Ah, uh, it's the least I can... Nope. Nope. Nope, nope. You do not have to do that at all. Oh, B&Q is mini-me. Oh, okay. I don't think I've talked with them a whole lot. Like, the name looked familiar, but thank you, Kermino. Uh, I'm just catching up with chat. Howdy, Zorts, even though you hit me with the chair and ruined my heist. Yep. Oh, is from there so or the there or no just from? Okay. 100 bits. Chew the weed train. Never seen a stone blush? I'm telling you. You have to wait 40 minutes before giving Mr. Landria another shout out. Well, I can do it like this. So, F you, Twitch. Wow, Twitch was like, no! Mr. Landria is good people. Don't you know it? Yeah, sub goal, you take it. Oh, no, I'm not going to do that. I was going to do more hand motions, but take it real good. Okay. Big top. Uh, no, in order. Uh, Bobby. Wait, where? Hold on. I'm confused. Okay, no. Big top. Thank you for gifting out five tier one subs. Oh. Um, to Carrie, I think I know her. She thinks she's the boss or something. Uh, Dave, Dave, we've known for a long, long time. Kerminu, we've known for quite a while. Isaac, who's that guy? Oh, excuse me. And Murphy, we know him too. We know all five of them. Wow. Big top, thank you very, very much. Oh my God. Uh, holding my hands up here. Like a fool. I'm a fool. I hope that worked. Big Top, thank you very, very much. You, don't, you absolutely don't need to do that as well. I appreciate it, though. Thank you. 24 months. That's like five years. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Big Top, thank you again. Uh, Zor, thank you for the 100 bits. Choo choo, MFR, right? Yep. But you, Twitch, that's right. Whoa! Big Top playing 2K24. Right. My God. Okay. Um, thank you very much. I. Appreciate it, uh, Miss Orlandria, for the five gift subs. Thank you, Bobby. Thank you for resubbing, man. Uh, and Big Top, thank you for the five gift subs. I uh, 
Really appreciate it. And I'm going to stop now because I am like Katsu Twitch. Make Katsu Fi. Yeah, I know Katsu. I actually created a character in World of Warcraft called Katsu Stone. <laughs> <laughs> but I tried to create a character that was just Katsu gone and I don't know if it's like somebody took it or Blizzard like added it to like you can't do that name okay we're gonna have a one on one match Sora Kimura against Captain Spaulding otherwise I'm gonna be here acting a fool all day I'm sorry okay sorry okay now I can take my pants off again what? The following match is scheduled for one fall. First, hailing from Kyoto, Japan, weighing 226 pounds, Sora Kimura. Sora Kimura, five for eight, managed by Golden Star. So acting like yourself, yep. Uh, Sora Kimura is coming to the ring with Pretty Boy Mario, who is not on this brand. What is this? Rewards? Well, I gotta click a button for this now? Thank you for helping uh, complete a level four hike train. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. You always think you're. I, well, I'm not wearing pants right now. Vafangulo, oi! His opponent, hailing from Rugsville, Texas, weighing 255 pounds. He is the man's universal champion, Captain Spaulding. Captain Spaulding, 24 for 47. First time taking on Sora Kimura. Say what? I said first time taking on Sora Kimura. Fan. He is managed by J-Rod. He is coming down to the ring with his daughter, Baby Firefly. There has been a thing going on between Spaulding and Pretty Mario Mario and Baby Firefly. We saw Spaulding attack. Or no, come on in as a... What the hell? The side plates again. Oh, whatever. See this goddamn game? Anyways. Stuff like that makes me bonkers. Like, I don't know if I need to, like, go and re recreate the entire belt or what. Ugh. Or take them off and, and save them again. Anyways, uh, Captain Spaulding attack like took the place of Devin Fox to take on Pretty Boy Amario. Baby Firefly was the guest referee. And Amario won for the first time with Baby Firefly as a guest referee. Now, here we are. Amario is not part of the brand, but I guess he's just coming down to ringside. Didn't want to bring himself back in as referee. Backing up Sora Kimura. They are both managed by the same person. So I guess uh, Pretty Boy is making sure... Or maybe Golden Star is making sure that his wrestlers don't get take, taken advantage of by Captain Spaulding and Baby Firefly. For 25. Ah. Bach. Bach. Tue. Speaks Italian, but can't say chunk, chunk, chalupa. What? I don't speak Italian. I fumble through it. And promo his chicken. Wait, what? It's chicken. Promo his chicken. Oh, his. Oh, right. Captain Spaulding's fried chicken. That's right. Sorry. This is a non title matchup. Oh. So we're getting. I'm getting into the parts where it's. Uh, Parecchio. And Parecchie, which are two different things. And Nessun and then Nessuno are two different things. Like, what the hell? 
I think Nasun is no or like none kind of deal. And then Nasun no is like everything or anything. Like, like no, uh, I could be confusing it with uh, Kualunque is anything. Anyways, I'm getting into a part of Italian where it's like I'm having a problem. So I'm I'm getting less less perfect, so that's that's for sure. Bippity boppity boopy? Yeah. Yeah, hundred percent. Oh, this oh, did they add new emotes for the hype trains? <gasps> I don't remember this. Isaac is starting up a heist. Well. I was just saying, like, what's like it seems like it's been forever since they a red card. Ooh. Ooh. Well, I didn't have that emote hey, before. Hey, yo, this is Mr. Fixit here to inform you there's a heist being organized. This is your cue to participate. Or else. Or else. Uh, thank you all for contributing to the hype train uh, and helping me get an emote. I definitely did not have that one before. Whee! Oh, no! Well. Nora. Whee! Big power slam. Wow. Or else you sleep with the fishes with some cement shoes. You see? We uh, watched Dick Tracy with the kids a couple months ago, but uh, it's one of my favorite movies. Like, not not necessarily because it was like, oh my god, super awesome and amazing. Uh, I really like the different characters and how, like, you know, like um, flat flat top or whatever, right? He, like he had a flat head. Right. So like stuff like that when I was a kid, oh my god, those things killed me. I love them. Now so I'll take a long walk up a short pier, eh? Oh! Oh, it looked like Captain Spalling was gonna go and attack Pretty Boy as he had his back turned. Only a one oh, it was a two count. Jeffy counted that as a two count. Well, I only heard him one heard him do one. So Kimura could be a number one contender for the Universal Championship. Not quite yet. Uh, we watched Deadpool and Wolverine. I won't spoil anything. I like I know it's been out for a little bit now, but uh, it was okay. I, I think I laughed a lot. I liked it. It was fun. I think I liked the first one more. Um, like, like, it's not that I didn't like it. I, I think it, if I needed to rate them, I think I liked the first one more. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I really liked where they were referring to... Woo, well, there we go. Captain Spaulding is your winner. Here is your winner, the Men's Universal Champion, Captain Spaulding. Now, it'd be funny if we could get like a mixed tag team match going between Cap Captain Spaulding and Baby Firefly and Sora and Pretty Boy. You know, but 2K wouldn't let us do it. Uh, so you liked it, but you think that the shtick is getting old? Yeah, like uh, so I definitely like the um, breaking fourth wall. I, I mean, that's definitely a nod to the comics because that's how it was, right? Um, GG, J-Rod. GG, J-Rod. GG, J-Rod. j j j j and I liked all the references to Wolverine, like, until you're 90, right? Yeah. 
but they're they're gonna try to milk it as much as they can right as uh, i mean it's not surprising i think some of this one part was like okay done with the the multiverse stuff yeah 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 all right sora oh no captain spaulding is your winner oh we have we have heist results let, let me read out the heist results uh isaac made it orlando you made it justin made it wow words are hard uh i was too busy building the perfect heist bot yes my code is never done there's always something to change and fix and improve Kermino got shot by a sniper in the head. Wow. Okay, please don't die. Um, Bobby made it. Dante made it. Adams had no clean clothes to wear, did their laundry and said, dude, you need to just come buck naked. You're fine. Rosa made it. Allie made it. Carrie blew out the tires on the heist getaway car by pulling donuts in the parking lot or maybe in our court. You know, Actually, I think I I think I got to get new tires because I feel like on my car, whenever I turn a corner, like I'm not going super fast, but you hear a little bit of the squealing a little bit. And when it's a green light and I go, you hear my tires. So I think the treads are kind of getting worn. Oh, it's just there's more money to spend it than the cars. Anyways, first world problems, whatever, right? I, uh, I get tires, man. Uh... Yeah. Hey, GG, Dante. Ooh. A little nauseous. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. All right. We have a uh, singles match. Svetlana Borochia versus Angelina DeForte. Maximum bet is 500. Here we go. The following match is scheduled for one fall. First, hailing from St. Petersburg, Russia, weighing 135 pounds, Svetlana Borochev. Borochev is one for seven in singles matches. First time going up against Angelina DeForte. She is an NPC wrestler, but she is the friend slash partner of Svetlana, or Elizaveta Usov. But we've heard as of late, Usav's been kind of uh, being very mean to Svetlana. We haven't really seen it firsthand or heard it firsthand, but we've heard it from people who have claimed to have seen that Usav's being so mean. She's making Barochia cry. She's blaming her for their losses, lack, lack of success in their tag team the misfits that is not an irish flag it's 2k being 2k that is an italian flag her opponent hailing from pompeii weighing 140 pounds angelina di forte di forte is two for five in singles matches had a run with maple marksman wound up not winning the title there she's also an npc wrestler here Forza the Forte. All right. You know, it's never a good thing when friends are fighting with friends because then it puts other friends in a bad position and, and makes it all awkward and shit and you know believe me i know i know i'm not perfect i know i know i'm just hoping in universe though usav and svetlana can figure out what's going on in between them and and stop with whatever is happening 
Yeah, 2K. 2K made it orange. Like, even when we put up the red co cobra sign, it makes it uh, orange. Dazool! Thank you for the raid! What were you doing? Oh, were you doing your workout stuff? Workout? Just traded with one Thank you, Zorts. Fitness, boxing too, rhythm, and exercise. Nice. Definitely give Dazool a follow. He's got a little command here, too. Quackadee. No blue. No blue. It's his favorite food. His not his not favorite food. What was your weigh-in this week? Or are you only gonna post them like once a month or something? What? Or what? I said, what was your weigh-in this week? Or are you only gonna post them once a month? Also, Zorts, thank you for doing your uh, your one mod duty thing per month. I appreciate it very much. <laughs> Zorts has said that I'm what? not. I'm not giving. I said I'm not giving him shit. I am sort of, but it like not for reals because Zorts has even said there. I've done my one stuff thing per month or per year. What? I s oh, for fuck's sakes. I said, Zorts has even said there, I've done my one thing per month, per year. Damn, I even screwed up there, too. Uh, Duck is good people. He is good people. Yes, 100%. I mean, Duck don't want to be a blob duck, if you get me. I said, I mean, Duck don't want to be a duck. Oh, what the... Wow, looks like Angelina just beating the sun. Here comes Usov! Wow, okay, well, at least Usov's coming out to defend her friend from... Oh, no! Well? Uh... Usov! I guess she had enough. I guess the rumors were true. Maybe Usov was being mean to Barochiev and making her and like and using her as a scapegoat for like. It should be a DQ. Let me go look at the card. Oh, they didn't even tell me the card is not D is no DQs. What the hell? I didn't even know. But maybe Kyle knew. Wow. Well, oh no. I guess we know. I I can't. I guess we'll have to find out what's going to happen after. Angelina DeForte picks up the victory and to add insult to, to, in, to injury Usov was beating the snot out of her in front of everyone now here is your winner Angelina DeForte wow well 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 I guess we know for sure now Usov has decided F you to Barochiev. Guess she had enough. Wow. All right, Angelina DeForte is our winner. Uh, let me catch up with chat. I'm kind of missing some chat here. Uh, probably once a month to Zul says okay cool cool I was just curious uh you know and and don't 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 feel pressure to be like to answer me with your weight or whatever because that's a yeah, personal private thing I I just uh like to see progress when when you're doing good things for yourself and uh I just want to be supportive so I don't mean anything you know uh, bad bite or anything like that. I just want to see you do well, right? And I, I sometimes feel like maybe it's a little nosy. I agree, but I also want to 
try to help you and and in, and in, and encourage you when you make those gains right or losses right if you will like i'm going for losses right so we've never seen me mediocre done so well ah uh, yeah zorts zorts should that not be a dq yeah so from what i understand officially that was a no dq match they didn't tell me i'm looking at it on the card right now if if you go look right yeah no dqs didn't even tell me thanks guys now, I wonder if that was done on purpose. Maybe Borochiev didn't know. Maybe it was set up. Maybe Usov set that up. Maybe she hacked the system and did a no DQ match because she knew she was coming up. Could she be that bad? Could she be that evil? Are we about to see Lady Red rise again? Zorts, remember what I was saying about uh, at your, uh, uh, at main event wrestling. About there could be something happening. Maybe this is it. Maybe. I don't know. I don't control these folks. Uh, Isaac says, how many ducks would a, would, would a duck duck if a duck could duck ducks? Uh, a duck could duck as much as he could duck if a duck could duck ducks. Right? Right? How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A woodchuck could chuck as much as he could if a woodchuck could chuck wood. That's the answer to the woodchuck question. A woodchuck could chuck as much as he could if a woodchuck could chuck wood. It's true. See, that I don't stutter on. You know? Why? The stupid brain. The whole world is a work. Oh man, you're telling me. Svetlana Bafana. Oh, well, Svetlana, I don't know what's going to happen with these two. I didn't know there, there was an answer to those questions. Yeah. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A woodchuck could chuck as much as he could if a woodchuck could chuck wood. See, I said blob duck and blob is on the card. Coincidence? I think not. Justin. Justin's a work here too he is in on it oh it's a conspiracy justin is in control Shit. but what if the wood check was on crack and zorts zorts god Zorts. The following triple threat is scheduled for one fall and is the main event of the show. What? A woodchuck could chuck as much wood as a woodchuck could chuck. No! No! Well, that's a answer. First, hailing from Transylvania, Romania, weighing 255 pounds, he is one half of the men's tag team champions, Sebastian Van Size. Van Size is two for six in triple threats. He is managed by G-Man. I'm so happy that the that the e Fed shout out stuff works. He is the manager of Renegade Wrestling Federation. Give him a follow at NYGMan70. Bam, 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 bam. Zorts asking the tough questions. That's not what I would call them, Orlandi. Nope. 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 -ers. Not what I would call it. I would call it being Zorts. Don't, no, don't encourage him, Mr. Lander. Don't thank him. What are you talking about? Don't get me start getting into my Canadian because I'm going to start really get down in there, eh? Like. Lord Tundra and Jesus, by my God. 
I was actually just talking with my Aunt Anne. Aunt Anne lives down east. It's her birthday, too. And boy, oh boy. The accent is thick with her. She's from, like, down east, down east. Like, real thick accent. Real thick. Stone just can't handle my hard hitting and... Listen, bro. Bro. Okay. Holy snapping arseholes, eh? Eric! Here, Zorts works very hard monthly all six months of the year. Aw, oh, dude, that guy's a night shifter. You know how hard they work. Oh, now I'm effed. Now I've just attacked everybody that's a night shifter. I'm sorry. Just Zorts, just Zorts. Shit. Making his way to the ring from the edge of reality, weighing 260 pounds, Carnage. Carnage is one for three in triple threats. He is managed by Viking Wolf King. Listen, for serious, so Zorts Zor 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 is good, good people. We just give him the piss here. Uh, take the piss with him, that's all. Uh, Mr. Renner says, uh, you accidentally answered a call from your mom while I was in a Discord call with a friend, and they said it sounded Irish. Yeah, but that would mean that you're from up there, and you're not from up there, right? Yeah. But I know what you mean. When, like, when I'm down there for like a week, I start to pick up the accent, and when I come back here, oh, and it's just, it's just constant, man. And I think it makes Carrie mad a little bit too, because she's like, "Stop talking like you're from down east." And like, what? It's my roots. Uh, Zora says you're not wrong. I only work 15 days a month due to the schedule. Oh, that's crap. Oh, Zora, I'm sorry, man. And our final entrant, hailing from Swansea, Wales, weighing 505 pounds, Blob. Blob is two for 19 in triple threats. Managed by Murphy. Fuck Murphy. Last playing no game, eh? Uh, missing chat. Hold on. Let me scroll back. Hey, Chris. How are you, man? He's got no clip magic on his... Ho oh, yeah, man. Bro. There's clipping all over the place. How are you doing today, sir? How are you? How are you? The accent just slipped out. Yeah, right. It's tw oh, it's twelve-hour shifts. Oh, okay, well, okay. I I, I was just like uh, I was just hoping you're not getting like screwed over for like kind of money kind of stuff. You know, like they're only using you a little bit when they should be using you a lot. Like just just get you in there and every day just get get you in every day in the entire month and bend you over and just work ya you know maybe grease you up maybe not you know depends on what they feel like we have a heist in progress uh heist all Oh, I already at I already I already joined. Wow. Hey yo, this there is Mr. Fix it here to inform you there's a heist being organized. This is your cue to participate. Or else. Or else. Or else. Join the heist. This is our last match of the show. Uh, only certain people are allowed to grease me up, buddy guy. My, my job, my, my, my job, and you ain't one of them. Wow. Wow. Zorts. I thought, I thought we were, 
more than friends, man. Bro, I've seen your face. Azorts, I gotta find you on Facebook again. I, I just, I'm not using Facebook a whole lot and I deleted my account. And then I turned, and when I turned it back on, I couldn't turn, oh no, right in the nuts. I couldn't turn the old account back on, so I had to make a new account and I just didn't go after everyone to go do friend requests all over the place. I actually uh, talked with my cousin from, from, from down east uh saying like what the hell happened because <laughs> he thought like i unfriended them like no 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 i it's just a completely different account it's fine yeah i mean i only uh do facebook once a month basically now just to say yes everything's fine yep everything's good <laughs> that's pretty much i'm not i'm not dead yet that's pretty much it that's it there, bud. Oh, fuck yeah, bud. You need to start watching Letterkenny. Letterkenny's okay. I, I I, mean, I liked it. It. I don't know if I was like crazy gaga for it. I like Shorzy a lot more. Because Shorzy I can relate to. Because I've been in the locker rooms, man. I have... I have maybe not even at their level of hockey, but men's league, beer league, I have done that. So I kind of know some of it. And seeing Shorzy as a show, ah, oh, bro, bro. <laughs> uh, the ex got me into it, but uh, after eight and a half, wait, what? Oh, after her BS, it fell off. Oh, no. F, F her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, 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 don't worry about that. Uh, I would say it's a decent show to get into for sure. And try and finish it out. Like, I want to finish out Walking Dead, but I, I'm definitely, I don't think I'm going to watch the whole series again. How about Trailer Park Boys? Love it. Love it. I feel like uh, Julian is really showing his age <laughs> compared to in like season one, but uh, <laughs> uh, trailer park boys. Oh, and again, blob twice in Carnage's Nuggets, unleashing maximum rage on the hoo Wow, but maybe, oh no, maybe not. Maybe I shouldn't say that. Nope. Be a good boy, Stone. Be a good boy. Be a good boy. All right, we have heist results coming in. Zorts made it, the captain of the heist. I made it. Mr. Landria made it. Uh, he was Conky was your favorite. And what about the green bastard? We almost made a wrestler for him. Uh, Justin made it. Isaac made it. Firmino made it. We need to visit Canada soon. Uh, what? Over, what? Overdue to show up. Yeah, man. Come on up, man. Bobby made it. Carrie was too busy getting a... What? Oh, a body massage. Jesus. Hopefully by me. Rosa made it. Dante made it. Adams made it. Wow, only Carrie? Yeah, only Carrie. Wow. The green bastard. Yep. If we, uh, like, I briefly considered re retiring Ned and Zoidberg in favor of the green bastard, but I kind of feel like Ned can't go. Ned, he's been around for so long. Zo Zoidberg, I'm kind of hit or miss on, but. Uh, and the ladies, like, we can't go away from Marge. Come on, man. Um, Zorts, I would say if you are willing to do Stan, would you be willing to do a female version of that wrestler too? Or a or a counterpart, let's say, maybe not an exact duplicate. Van Size Pins Carnage. Well, not a female Stan per se, but a fee, like a so that 
you know, if we do uh, like what, like what I'd probably do. Oh, hold on. Here is your winner, Sebastian Van Size. Oh, sorry. GG, G-Man. Um, because I had some thoughts. We, I was thinking about doing a champion of all reality match. Um, sort of how like WWE did like the crown jewel. However, I'm thinking instead of doing that, what if we just did like a like a Chris, a, Chris, a Christmas belt that only gets defended at Christmas time, and either Stan will have it or the female version will have it or whichever wrestler, and they'll and they'll come out with it all year round, and it doesn't get defended until at the end of the show. We're at the end of the year. I would need to make a Christmas belt, which I might try and download something. I don't know, or get or or look at what's online and get and get some ideas and make make something. Because I'm not very good at making belts. But if you have the time then very likely I'd probably retire uh, Amy Wong and Zoidberg so that we could make room. So in theory, we could have room, right? Sorry, thinking. Th th this is what happens. Yeah. This is what happens. I start thinking and then my brain just whoop, that way. And when I, I'm still on stream, bro, you know. Anyways, uh, we have the lurk reward is open. Exclamation mark lurk to get your points exclamation mark enter space and all the points so that you can put them all and put them all in because we reset them for every stream that we do it's uh an idea that i took off blue and queenie she's a fabulous streamer i lurk on her channel uh most days during the day when she's online um and we kind of tweaked it a little bit to make it our own because it's not quite exactly the same uh for instance we actually have a physical lurking loot box thingy Carrie uh, made the coins. Well, not make the coins, but she did the pictures and stuff. Uh, we met some good people there. And hopefully soon we'll get Eggbird in here. Like, we have Eggbird. We just got to get Queenie in, but she's busy, so. Um, what? Hold on. You're going to have to cancel your wrestlers. You just don't have the time to set it up with you. What do I mean, set it up? Oh, it's all it's all good, uh, Isaac. Yeah, don't don't worry about joining. Like pressure to join. Um, you've been around enough, and we know each other enough that the invite is open at any time. Um, don't feel like there's like there's no sub requirement, no time watch requirement. It's do we know each other, or can somebody vouch for you? That's all that it is. Um, if you have like even a simple idea, I can go make it and I send you DMs pretty easy. Or if you know like somebody else with the game or you have PS4 and or the PS Plus thing, then you can make it yourself. But it's all good. It's all good. Don't don't worry about it. Um, if I ask you again, just be like, yep, yep. I remember because sometimes I forget because I'm, you know, I'm the way that I am. You know what? You know what I'm saying. Um. All right. Let me. Thank you for the follow yesterday. You weren't online, but gonna. Don't know who that is, but okay. Thank you for the follow. Um. Taven, thank you for the resub. I appreciate it very, very much, sir. Muchas gracias. 
Justin Rosai, thank you for the two bits. Mr. Landria, thank you for the resub as well. Uh, Zorts, thank you for the 100 bits. Justin, thank you for the 100 bits. Mr. Landria, thank you for gifting out five tier one subs. Don't make eye contact. Because. Anyways, thank you for helping us meet our uh, sub goal. Appreciate it very much. Muchas gracias. If you got a gift sub for Mr. Landria, please say thank you. Please, please. They don't have to do that. Uh, Bobby, thank you for the resub. Muchas gracias. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Just, just by being here in the chat, the brain makes us all smarter. Just like it's sort of like osmosis, right? Or something. Big Top got one of the gift subs from Mr. Landria and then decided, you know what? I'm gonna gift out five more of my own. Thank you very much. Uh, I oops. That's hitting the microphone like a pro streamer, what? let me tell you. I said, that's hitting the microphone like a pro streamer. Thank you very much, Big Top. I appreciate it. Also, you didn't have to do that either. If you got a gift sub from Big Top, please thank him. Thank you very, very, very much. Uh, that started a hype train. Zorts got in with a choo-choo. It's a, it's a chew dweeb train, 100 bits. Thank you very much, Zorts, for the 100 bits. Um. Azul, thank you for the raid. I appreciate that too, sir. And that's it. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, next streams will be uh, Tuesday night. So tomorrow night, we're going to have a variety stream uh, planning on Sudoku. So it's going to be a chill stream where we're going to do music and stuff where subs can queue up music. Um, however, one, one part of the stream, probably about an hour in or so, we're going to redeem Carrie's, uh, sing for me that she won with the lurker reward. She selected Amish paradise that I'm going to have to sing. That will be tomorrow. We'll start at seven o'clock. So the singing will probably happen around eight or so that's Eastern. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. <sighs> you know, if it were up to me, I wouldn't have that reward in there, but Carrie likes it so much. So I, I keep it in for her. I keep the, re I keep the reward in for her. Oh my God. Ah, uh, never mind. You know what I mean? Wednesday we'll be wrestling again. We'll have Eclipse at 1 p.m. Eastern. We'll be off on Thursday, and then, oh man, um, Friday we'll have Nova at 1 p.m. Eastern. Running up to, uh, we're, we're getting up to our December where we're gonna have instead of our lurker loot, loot lurker box lurker giveaway, we're gonna be doing uh, the Christmas gift boxes. All through December. There's only two wrestling related ones in there. And one is a title shot for any belt to be redeemed at any time. I think there's a six months expiry or something. But the other is a third wrestler because we don't do three wrestlers for for folks that um, wanted a third. If you win it, you can get the third or gift it to somebody to get to get a third, you know. Um, the rest are like gift cards and there's a tier three sub. So it has like the pop out that we usually do. If you do a tier three sub, not gifting a tier three sub, tier three sub for yourself. Um, uh, we do a pop out, you know, and you've seen with a couple folks, um, you don't have to ma maintain it. It's just do it once and we're all, and we're all good. Um, and there's there's stuff there's 17 uh boxes so yeah 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 okay let's do the giveaway i need to find something let's uh okay 
do you feel like Call of Duty Warzone? Do you feel like Makers and Crafting? Or do you feel like Planet Coaster 2? I have three options just popping out at me for folks to raid. I'm not going to say names, just what what games. Okay, I see one for makers and crafting. If you know who I mean, don't don't say names if possible. Just just more curious on the subject in the con the content, right? This one, makers and crafting, all right? I see two for that. All right. Okay. Hey, congratulations, Kerry. All right, we're going to do the draw. If I win, we will redraw as we normally do. But I, I will draw a prize, but we'll redraw so it's not just me winning. Anyone else? That's it. Here we go. Uh, five, four, three, two, one. Thank you, Bobby. Thank you, Adams. Yeah, Rosa, 100%. Carrie, do you want to come down from work and come down and pick, pick your prize? Yeah, man. Or do you want me to do? Yeah, I know, but you could run down and pick it. You could literally run down. It'll take you less than a minute. Okay. All right. Turn your volumes down. It's going to get really loud. Oh, it's rigged. Hey, cativo. Then I'll miss a call. Oh, maybe, but maybe not. All right. Here we go. It's going to get really loud. Uh, it's, sorry, maybe not loud, but it's going to get noisy. So you may want to adjust your volumes, either down or up, whichever way you like it. Now you got me in your ears, baby. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> loud noises. All right. Here we go. Carry, carry, carry. Oh, I didn't do payouts, eh? On the win. Whoops. All right. Carry gets. Uh, I don't know what this is. Ah, 10,000 pounds. Dieci mille. What was Pebbles again? Was, was something pessimo or. I forgot. Let me do payouts of the match because I didn't do that. Sebastian Van Sides was your winner. My bad, my bad. All right, we are going to raid a friend of ours. Uh, she would uh, guest appear, was a uh, very, very helpful person with doing um, Iron Man stuff and helping mod uh, back in the day when we did that. We still know her, we still talk with her, we're still friends. She is uh, very good at crafting. Uh, we're going to give her a raid because I don't get to do it a whole lot. Uh, not add points. Ah, you know what? Add points. What the hell? Add points all uh, 10,000. I appreciate y'all spending your time with me, sharing it with me. Uh, whether you're at work, play, home. Uh, your time is the most valuable thing that you can share with me, really, because you ain't getting any of it back. And time, time is fleeting, my friends, so use it wisely. But thank you very, very much. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow at 7 p.m. for variety streaming. Next wrestling stream will be Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern. Ending the stream. Okay, uh, raid. 
ECPGN. She is good people, very talented. She is, what is she doing? Tissue paper art? What the fuck? See, like, like I don't understand how people have the skill, nor the time, nor patience to do this. It's crazy. Oh. <gasps> Ooh. Okay. Peace out. <laughs>